It's going to get real scary in America. You know, sinister times is coming to this society. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash, the honor side teachers, the apostles, and the other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000 elect men of the nation of Israel, teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, America is being infiltrated by these sleeper cells, and yet people and this society is walking around in peace and safety as if nothing possibly can go wrong, nothing bad can never happen. But soon, this is this society is going to shift, man. You know, prophecy is going to shift the reality that's being played out here, and you're going to be faced with danger, a menacing society, man. The presence of danger and unease is going to be felt. See, real quick, just to play these videos. So those are those, the African guys that they brought over here. African. And, and our community guys, here they are. They got to dress up like us, guys. Dress up like us. Now, I don't hate African men or any other race of people or nation of people. I don't hate them. But it's very suspect why they're moved, bringing these guys, men of fighting ages in our communities, and they dressed up like us. Could they be doing this for martial law? Well, they know that eventually that the bomb is about to fall out in America. A recession is about to happen. And when it happens, they got these guys right here ready to put on the streets. They're sleeper cells right mm -hmm. now. And this, this is where they are, guys. <laughs> you see, they got these sleeper cells out here, man. Just lurking your streets and your neighborhoods. And they dressed up just like you. You see, but yet. Yeah. It's from the point in time where these men is going to be activated and they're going to be committing horrendous crimes, man. Ravishing women, breaking their houses, committing murders. You know, robbing, stealing, killing. You see? They're going to be activated, man. You know, just to fast forward real quick. Okay, there's an economic reset, a great reset getting ready to happen. They're going to shut this shit down. And they bring it all, just not African men, but men from India, from Iran and Pakistan. They're bringing them all over here. Yeah, these men uh, and women who's supposed to be spoils of war, you know, they got affected by the war in Ukraine and the war with uh, Israel and Hamas, so they moved over to America. But yet, these can be military men coming over to this society, man. Men who, uh, who hate this society, who hate Americans. And want to come over here to cause harm. But yet, these are the people that you're going to be faced with. Because your government is housing them. You know, the UN is giving them money. You know, they going out buying clothes and they dressing just like you, man. You see? So when all hell break loose, when them grids go down and you can't call 911, you're going to be faced with this, man. You know, this is a minor thing that's going to become a major problem here in this society. And people not even seeing it. You see? And, and and the thousands and, and your most of your major inner city in America they're bringing them here for what so we can hold hands and sing kumbaya you're foolish if you believe that and just so you have a, you know any other other people that's Americans too you, you're not going to escape this raft either but that's a secret it's a secret you see, hey, man, the secret is without your how about Hashem, how about Shai, you fucked, man, because it's the Lord that's about to bring it, man. You see, the Lord is about to bring great destruction to America, Babylon, the Greek. You see, real quick, this is First Thessalonians 5 and 1, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety... Yeah, and that's how the people here in this society move. Peace and safety. What can possibly go wrong? Nothing bad can never happen to us. You know, this is America. Make America great again. And the Lord said, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yeah, suddenly the grid's going to go down, man. Suddenly you ain't going to be able to call 911. You ain't going to be able to call your daddy, your mama, your aunties, your uncles, your best friends to come help. You see? Suddenly things is going to shift. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they should not escape. You're not going to escape because you never seen it coming, man. You know, you worrying about a fucking presidential election, but all hell is about to break loose. You having foot soldiers right here in America in your neighborhoods, man. You see? <clears throat> and you at the brink of war. 
the uh the, the dollar collapse and they for to present a new monetary system to you where you're gonna have to have a little device in your right hand or on your forehead to continue in this society and that in itself is gonna cause evils to grow because people is gonna lose access to resources. And like the saying going in the world, desperate times calls for desperate measures, so people is gonna react in a in a in a very serious, dangerous way. A menacing society, man. You know, the presence of danger and threatening, uh, uh, you know, the presence of danger and, and a threatening spirit is going to be in the earth. You see? A verse 4 says, But ye brethren are not in darkness that, that they shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night nor of darkness there because we're actually watching, you know, the events that's taking place upon planet earth from the monetary system here in America. You know, from the wars increasing, from the famines growing, from pestilences growing, you see, from the from natural disasters, from even how the people is operating in the earth. We're watching everything, so we're not in darkness yet. We're, we are the children of the light. We're coming giving you warning of these serious times that's about to unfold in the earth. You see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh because it's the Lord that put the spirit on us to do these things. You see, to spread this message. A hey, verse 5, it says, You are all the children of the light and the children of the day. You are, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Yeah, you sleep, man. You know, you think America is going to continue in, in, in the spirit it's continuing in, where you can just party and bullshit, you know, not taking nothing serious. No, things is going to change, man. You're going to be in sudden fear because you never saw it coming. You were asleep. You see, it says, let, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, you see, so that you don't be taken off guard because a lot of people is going to be taken once these evils increase, man, you know, real quick. Because it's going to happen suddenly, uh, middle of the week, man, you know, hump day, <laughs> you see, good Friday, it's going to suddenly unfold, man, you're going to get home from work and the grid is down. Your phone won't charge. Your, your, your Tesla won't start. You see, this is Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 12. For a man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in the evil net and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it, when it falls suddenly upon them. You see, these things are going to suddenly unfold. You know, but yet the prophet's watching. They see it coming. We just don't know where, where day is going to happen. But when it happens, we're going to know. As far as you, uh, you, you people out there that's continuing that westernized vibration, partying and bullshitting, where the holes at, you know, what the move is tonight. When these things suddenly unfold, you're not going to know what's going on. And you're going to bug out and be destroyed, man. You're going to make all bad decisions. <laughs> like the brother Dawa often said, you're going to make all bad decisions, man. Yeah, verse 12, again, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12 in the NLT. People can never predict when hard times might come, like a fish in a net or a bird in a trap. People are caught by sudden tragedies. Yeah, you're going to get caught by sudden tragedies, man. You know, you look at that word tragedies, a simple Google definition. It says an event causing great suffering. Yeah, when those military men, those sleeper cells get activated. It's gonna. Uh, that's an event that's gonna cause great suffering, destruction, and distress. Yeah, because they're gonna be ravishing women, breaking their homes, your apartments, you know, taking your food, water, medicine, clothing, whatever they can get their hands on, man. You see, an event causing great suffering, destruction, and distress, such as a serious accident, crime, or natural uh, catastrophes. You see. Yeah, serious accidents and crimes, man, is going to be committed here in the society. It says a play, verse, uh, chapter, uh, definition two, a play dealing with tragic events and having an unhappy ending. Yeah, you Americans, it's going to have an unhappy ending. Right now, you bullshitting. You, 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 you happy? What could possibly go wrong? But your end is going to be an unhappy one, man. You know, you are dwelling in torments. Especially one concerning the downfall of the main character, which, yeah, that main character that's going to fall is the so-called white man, Esau Edom, and these are all the symptoms 
of the downfall of his kingdom. You see, things is going to get bad out here, man. And they're only going to intensify far greater than what you're seeing and now. You see, but yeah, I can pray that you was edified, giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Lord willing to this video, Shalom.